It's taking people back to country, helping them find their identities again. Because we've been stripped of that, you know? Indigenous communities like ours who are small and remote, our kids only see what they can see. Not everybody has access to the bigger and um, greater world outside of here. So they're actually seeing things that are going to become a normality for us in terms of us having our own ranges, our own people leading and managing in this space around environmental management. Having this Rangers program, just giving the community the opportunity to speak as one group, you yeah, sort of make it a lot easier for everybody. This is Closing the Gap stuff. Our people have been uh, missing from this role for generations. So we're saying to government, we're saying to the policy people that um, you can divest some of these responsibilities back to us. You can feel trusted that we're going to carry them and, and, and carry those roles in the way they're meant to be carried. After all, we are born into this role as Aboriginal people. We've been caring for country for 40 odd thousand years plus. The sustainability of this project was very important. Um, we didn't want to be a fly in, fly out project that came and developed a plan and then just had that plan sit on the shelf. Um, so the group had to be sustainable, that's why we had to get all the uh, various stakeholders involved in the project. Uh, the project creates sustainable outcomes by um, bringing together the, the voices of intent, uh, elders, traditional owners, Greening Australia, the expertise there, with the design of the Healthy Country Plan and the improvements then in the, in the uh, healthy country, healthy people, uh, the improvements to water quality. Uh, the water that goes through the Great Barrier Reef Green Park, for example. Being a woman ranger is very important, you know. Very, um, very proud to be a well, stand up here and be a woman ranger, you know. The brightness on the children's face when they come out on country, you know, it, it makes you happy. You should know they're learning. It's acknowledging the past and acknowledging our role that we've played from a cultural perspective to contemporary society. It allows us to be the designers of our own destiny when we think about our country, to create a country and a future that looks after the country now, improves it for the future, and sustains it forever.